dun 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 Alright. Huh. Boy above the clouds. Hmm. Come here there. Up there? Okay. Climb, Sino, climb! Sorry, we don't have those fancy four leaf sigils like in in Sumeru. According to the map, it should be somewhere around here. Let me take a look. Oh, it should be right up ahead. I thought Traveler was supposed to be leading. What the hell are you guys doing with a map, bro? Hey yo. Aww. I don't see any lanterns here. Well, Clee, it could be symbolic instead of literal. Also, I'm drinking medicine. Don't mind me. But hmm. now that I think about it, the prophecy didn't say anything about what the lantern the utmost joy actually looks like, right? Maybe we've overlooked something? Traveler, are you trying to figure out something else from the paper? Uh-huh. Bending's note here says we should look up and seek the answer from the sky. Hyman's reading too! Uh, huh? It says to look up! Is it Celestia, bro? Yo! That'd be crazy. But, uh, but there's nothing above us. Uh, the wind didn't trick us, did it? The sip also says now you should recite the incantation. Paimon, take a look at this. Place the squirrel on the back of the pointy-eared cat, and a pious puppy will open the doors to show you the way. Huh? Paimon read the whole thing out loud, but nothing's happening. Why is Huh. Squirrel on the back of a pointy cat. Okay. What's happening? <gasps> look! Look! The wind is what blowing! What the fuck? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh god. What a strong wind current. Oh, let's ride it up and see where it leads us. Huh? W we'll have to fly up there? Uh, can someone carry me with them? Oh my god, dude. Here. Oh. Go, Albedo. You can do it. Yo. Nice view. By you, Vastra. Who? Oh, shoot! <gasps> Bro, Broski. Oh my god. Down. Oh, thank god I didn't fall off. Yo. Crazy. Ah, my god. It's the. <clears throat> it's the record player again. The. I forgot what they're called. Um. The, the old timey ones. But. Yeah, that. Um. <clears throat> oh, I'm I'm scared. <laughs> Alice, Alice, Alice. Oh my God, Clee, it's your mom again. How did this little island get up here in the sky? Did somebody make it? Hmm. Sucrose. Immediately proceeds to see if this is a living organism. Just to be safe, I've been jotting down our entire route here. This way, no one will get lost. That's a forest ranger for you, baby. Oh, good thinking, Kale! To me, it's like, god damn. What am I doing up here? Huh? Who would have thought we'd find this kind of table here? Weird. It's almost as if someone was holding a teapot. 
party. Yeah, huh. Just like in this story called Alice in Wonderland. I never would have guessed that such a place could exist. Right above Mondstadt, too. Stop it. Stop it. Look at the pretty lantern on the table. There's even a chair for each side of the lantern, too. What the hell is happening? Why is this lantern just floating? There seems to be something on the back of this chair. Let me have a closer look. Is it a name? Mona gonna freak out. Take your seat. Present your answers, and you shall reach enlightenment. Okay. Well, as far as instructions go, I guess that's simple enough. Nobody wants to quest- like, nobody is being adequately cautious about this whole thing, I think. So we just need to do as it says, right? Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, I'll be- yeah. It's big brain time. Huh? What is it, Albedo? We'd better make sure this place is safe before taking our seats. Everyone, please stay clear for a moment. Yeah. Holy crap, that shot of Mona. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! My eyes! Everyone vigilantly watches Albedo conduct a thorough well, investigation of the space. Well, questions and doubts aside, the scenery here is pretty amazing. It'd be impossible to feel stressed here. Hmm. How is everything, Albedo? Hmm... Everything seems to be fine. I didn't find any traps or suspicious mechanisms. My god, Albedo, the only sane one. <laughs> and he's not even a person. But I also couldn't find any overt destructive devices. Huh? What do you mean? He, there might be hidden destructive devices. Well, it seems that wrong answers won't have any catastrophic consequences. Looks like we'll have to sit on these chairs and fulfill the prophecy. Okay. Everyone, I would like to suggest that we try some risky answers on our first attempt. Let's reserve our most confident answers for the second round. Interesting. That sounds kind of smart. <laughs> my god. Ah, uh, I get what he means. If we do as he says, then we may be able to figure out how the puzzle works. I see. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> Mona, you good? Are you realizing? Mona, is there something wrong? You're not looking too good. Oh, are you hungry? I brought some snacks. Oh, yes, I am clean. I am very broke. I am an adult that doesn't know how to manage my money. Give me the snacks. Thank you for offering, Clee, but that's not quite it. While Albedo was checking just now, I gave my scryglass a spin hoping to find some information. But there's a strange aura to this place. It's almost as if someone has been staring at me as soon as we stepped foot in here. That's very off-putting and actually kind of distressing <clears throat> but if nothing here has actually been physically tampered with then no could that person be mona just shivered did she send some kind of great power what do you mean mona who could it be my master uh, never mind. It's not like I've got any proof. What do you mean, never mind? Ugh, don't leave us on the edge like yeah. this, Mona. Hmm. I'll just do what Albedo says. <gasps> True. Yes. Now let's test the hypothesis together, Clee. You better ensure safety. I just realized that Clee and Albedo are quote unquote siblings. And they both have, like, the hoodie, the hoodie thing, like a hoodie jacket. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Come on, join us, Mona. Oh, all right. Okay, then I'll answer the first question. If someone were to ask me to find a flower that is not of this world, you can do it, Sucrose. Oh my god. Don't. Um. Then I would fetch a tetratanic sweet flower. All right, I'm up next. My part of the prophecy is to find a guide who will never get lost. Kali, I hope you found your answer. I mean, I thought you weren't supposed to say the right answer first. <sighs> My answer is that I will be that guide. For a long time, I have been guided by others. It's taken me a while, but I finally made it to where I am today. Although I still haven't made a name for myself, and I'm still quite immature, I... I would still like to put my name forward. Because I would like to become a guide that can help others. I want to help others the same way Amber, Master Tainari, Sino, and everyone else helped me. Now it's my turn to pass on the gift that I've been given. That's so sweet. We're... That's wrong. <laughs> Probably, I'm, I don't know. All right. It's up to me to answer the third part. I, I, I'll i submit myself as one who would never lie. I, again, I thought Albedo just said we were gonna give the wrong answers first. Although I've never really had any other virtues or talents, I'm confident that I've always been an honest person. I, I'd like to thank everyone, too, for giving me this opportunity to <laughs> validate myself. That's good Good for you, Timaeus. Good for you. And last but not least, I will answer the final part of the prophecy. There's no tale more befitting the title of A Legend That Never Ends than Our Fates as Human Beings. Wait! The lantern just lit up! Whoa! All four sides of the lantern are glowing! Huh? But... But all we did was submit a batch of, batch of test answers. Kali? Could I ask you to stand up for a second? Oh, uh, uh, all right. Oh. Hmm. Huh? What's going on? There were no right answers. You fools! You have been tricked. Why is it lighting up regardless of who's sitting in the chair? answer all the questions correctly you've been pranked bro it's me alice <laughs> it's pretty clear now isn't it we've just proven that yeah. there is no right answer for this prophecy mm. the the right answer is the right answer for you bro no right answer but how could that be just as there is no one way to live your life. There is no right answer to this thing. Anyway. Although the instructions had come from an old and enigmatic prophecy, it is in fact nothing like the ancient mechanism that we had all imagined it to be. I believe the lantern only serves as a simple signal. Ah, uh, holy and frick. To think. I never expected you to actually find this place. What's her name? Scarlet? What? There's someone else here? Jesus Christ. I Meet almost again, completely Traveler. forgot about her. Jesus. Hey! You and that outlander we met the other day at Good Hunter! Yes. Also, my phone almost fell. To the floor. It's all thanks to you that I was able to find this place. Good thing that you were too preoccupied um, with the prophecy to notice someone tailing you from the shadows. Um, uh, uh, uh do, do we have to beat her up? Oh, is that so? Then why do I spy yet another Ooh. person following in your shadow? Damn. Wait, really? So turn around, girl. 
There's no need for pleasantries. You should know I'm here for you. Is it just because I'm a visitor from abroad? It's because you're suspicious, and Rosaria li will literally follow any suspicious person she sees. I was there when you snuck your way into Marjorie's place. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap. That's breaking and entering, ma'am. That's a, that's a crime. Huh. So you had your eyes on me even then, huh? That was two whole weeks ago, you know. Ma'am, that's a crime? It's hard not to notice you when I'm on duty every day. Ooh. All right. In that case, I'll admit it. I was the person who slipped this prophecy into the storybook. Uh... Okay. Huh? But why? Then... Does that mean... This wasn't a real prophecy after all? Is she part of the Hexen Circle? I can't really see it. Don't worry. Even though you probably have plenty of reservations about me, you can be sure that the prophecy is genuine. How? Just because... <laughs> we were... We doubt you, but we can't doubt the prophecy that you put in there? Like, that's crazy, man. <laughs> We can't just believe it just because you were like, don't worry, it's genuine. In fact, many of you here today may have heard the code name of the one who left the prophecy to me. Code oh, name? She hailed from an ancient assembly of powerful women, each of whom used a single letter to signify themselves. Oh. Okay. They all each have one letter. Okay. In the Hexen Circle. Who would have guessed? It seems that power was indeed left behind by the old hag after all. Ah, so you're B student. It's an honor to meet you. I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. How many of them are there? <laughs> How many of them are there? Ten? Like from A to J? Well, what are you talking about? J, 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 J. Jay, do we know any powerful women named Jay in history? Maybe. There's none coming to mind. Jay would probably be someone from Mesnaya, I guess? It's a long story, but I'm not quite sure that I'm the best person to tell it. Since you've all spent so much time and energy trying to decipher this prophecy, you must also be very interested in the secret behind this lantern, no? Rosaria's here like... I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. The lantern has already been lit. Now then... Please allow me to disturb your happy peace. Oh my god, is it cutscene time? Please... Do not... Huh. Why did this little thing just light up? How strange. <gasps> it's Aris. Hello? On the other side of the lantern. Can you hear me over there? Mom? <laughs> I was just like, oh, it's my child again. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, I hear many youthful voices. Madam, I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Since we've last gathered, Jay's successor has already become so reckless and bold. Unbelievable. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you talking just like the old hag? Oh, crap. I did. I was like, oh, is this a different voice? Because. <gasps> oh, my God. Is that what Mona's master sounds like? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> old hag. Who would dare say that? Is that Mona? Why does she sound just like Alice, but, like, more indignant and old? <coughs> Is it the same voice actress? Oh my god. Who are you? Who dares imitate my master? <clears throat> hmm. And what of imitation and mimicry? It has always been a fool's errand to mimic and learn from humanity. Does this sound like Signora? Oh, it's Alice. I'm here too. Oh, okay. Mom, why are you trying to 
trying to talk like other people? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so I see everyone's here. Well then, my warmest greetings, everyone. Okay, I was freaking the fuck out. Jesus Christ, it was just... Alice? And she was just pretending to talk like other people? That's why she sounded like her, but... Alice crazy, bro. Like, she, she fucking nuts. Miss Alice, why would you... A lot long. <laughs> no reason, bro. <laughs> well, it's been many years since this lantern last lit up. You can't blame me for thinking that one of the old friends from my youth may have decided to catch up again. of a sudden. And if I recall correctly, we left this lantern in the care of the Animo Archon Barbados. Excuse me? Hmm. You must be commended for uncovering an artifact entrusted to the god of wind himself. Nah. Uh, <clears throat> nah, he was just like, <laughs> here you go, bitch. <laughs> here, 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 here's the location, bro. Yo, let's get a drink later. That's him. That's... So Alice, well, yeah, okay, that tracks. Tell me, are you sitting around my beloved tea party table? No, we're just standing. It's a really long table. Aw, mommy. Oh, so you are. I suppose this means even the animal Archon has granted you entry to this place. Was all of this Scarlet's doing? Wait, wait. Paimon's completely lost now. So what was this assembly you were talking about earlier? Oh, Miss Alice, would it be alright to leave the explanation of that to you? <laughs> My god, causing all this trouble for Alice. <laughs> well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating oh the lantern. Oh my. <laughs> now then. It's Let time. me tell you a long and ancient story. Holy crap, please, Holy Overs, don't cock me right now. Please make the the scene flow properly, unlike in the Care Bear story quest. Care Bear. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Don't fuck me. Ever heard of the Hexen Circle? As the spooky name suggests, it's a secret society. Once upon a time, it even challenged the animal Archon himself. But he replied, Let us make music, not war, and resolve our conflicts through song. I hate you, Oyo. From words. then on, the mages would only ever convene in the woods, in the skies, or on the edges of cliffs. At these tea parties, they discussed their stories and secrets and resolved their differences. As the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge, Never to fight amongst themselves. Yesterday I snuffed out the life of my beloved. <gasps> he had grown old and was extremely sick. He loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. I'm raising a son. Of all the children I had, he's the only one left. But I suppose that still makes me a mother. Holy my shit. lifespan is nothing compared to yours, so I wish to leave you with my storybook. Actually, maybe you can pass it on to your children one day. Oh, this looks interesting. Let me scry. My dear sisters, we mustn't let prophecies threaten our bonds of friendship. Even the most frightening witch was once a little girl. And growing up can be so tough. Sometimes we all need to vent our troubles to the wind. Even if the nations go to war, or the sky falls down, the mages' tea parties shall forever be held around this table. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my god. Ah, so oh. this is where the legendary their meetings oh god what do you mean by one you know who they are that's right we often met here to chat and have tea so senora was one of them or was this just 
the the lady who killed her not senora probably um one of the other ancient names that i can't recall right now alice monas was alice monas teacher b j i don't know which one j is scarlet um and there's the one who wrote the boar princess because it got mentioned earlier in the quest i think yeah Oof. But then what about the part saying that if we light the lantern of utmost joy we'd receive a supreme blessing oh about that <laughs> I never expected anyone other than Jay to actually read the full contents of that prophecy. It's a little embarrassing. Oh my. The truth is, that prophecy was actually just a letter that we sent to Jay as a group the day before her wedding. <laughs> oh. Hmm. So it was indeed written by all of you. I must thank you for resisting the urge to immediately reveal the truth to everybody, Albedo. Knowing you, you probably figured out everything the moment you laid eyes on the message. Mm. No, it took me a little longer than that. You're the sun! Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the lady who killed her... <laughs> her lover, Alice, Mona's teacher, Ryan daughter, and... Um, the one who wrote the Boar Princess, who may also be Jay, or one of the others is Jay, before her wedding. So maybe Jay is the one who killed her husband for becoming too old? A flower that is not of this world, a guide who will never get lost, one who would never lie, and a legend that never ends. These four descriptions signify four individual mages. Oh, shoot! Who's a flower that is a- Is that Alice? Is this confirmation that she's a descender? A guide who will never get lost, probably Mona's. One who would never lie. And a legend that never ends would be the boar princess right there. One who would never lie. Fine daughter? Huh. When a member of the organization had to leave the group to spend the rest of her days with her beloved, the other mages would write down this prophecy and send it to her to invite her for a final get-together. Okay. A flower that is not of this world signifies, of course, flowers that do not naturally exist oh, in right, this world. Oh, right, 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 right. This okay. is the signature of R, full name, Rhindaughter, <gasps> also known as Gold. Oh my god. Oh my god, Alice, stop dropping lore, please. This is a limited time event. If there's anyone in this world who could create a flower species that does not yet exist, Aww. it would be her. Your mommy. Your mommy, Albedo. The guide who will never get lost is N, otherwise known as Nicole. You may not have encountered her Nicole. yet, but she is a truly extraordinary woman who has made this world's direction and order her subject of study. Bonus teacher is named Nicole. Some of you may be fortunate enough to have already heard her voice. Like a prophetess, she will only speak to guide people toward the truth when a change has occurred in the world. <gasps> Holy shit, the person who spoke to us was Nicole. At the very end of um, Wander's uh, Archon Quest. Not his Archon Quest. The Archon Quest that had Wander in it when he tried to delete himself from Ermin's soul was probably Nicole. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. She has a tendency to suddenly speak in someone's mind oh without any warning. Oh my freaking <laughs> god! Lore! Lore everywhere! Lore here, lore there, lore everywhere! Oh my god! We know her name, so not the... not the... not, um... uh... Oh my god, the name's escaping me. Not the, the, the god of time. Uh... yeah. Huh? Could she have been the one who spoke to me while we were investigating Zawa? Zawa's the name of my wanderer. 
if one day you would be unfortunate enough to run into a truly dangerous situation, Oof. she may use her voice to guide the way forward for you. Damn. <sighs> sure. So, she is alive. Like, she's not some, like, disembodied god voice. Who would have guessed that there are so many mysterious women in this world and that they would all know each not other? Not Mona's teacher. Okay, interesting. The one who would never lie is me. Oh. I hope no one would take offense. Okay. It's just that I, Alice, or A for short, have always had a soft spot for those with sincerity and candor. As for a legend that never ends, you may not know M in person, but you've likely encountered one of her works. Have any of you ever read The Boar Princess? Oh my god, M, M for what? Huh? I'm pretty sure every child in Mondstadt has read that book. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite stories. M was an exceptional human writer who used her prose to teach me the meaning of grief. Does it? Say the author of the Boar Princess? Don't you think such a person would deserve a seat at the mage's table? Uh, I guess so, Alice. I mean, I'm not a mage. Like, you guys are making the criteria. Paimon's getting more and more lost. I am getting more and more interested. It may sound hard to believe, but I can attest to everything that Alice has said. Jay was also a mortal who aged and passed on. Leaving her title to her students and followers. What did Jay do? Alice, you've never acknowledged any of Jay's oh, successors. Oh, interesting. It's now been centuries since the first of us took on her mantle. I've always wanted to meet you. Interesting. Okay. They were like, okay, your students are not special enough. Haha, <laughs> they, they can't sit with us. <laughs> do you also want to become a mage? Hmm, interesting. Title aside, I think I'm more interested in the meaning and purpose of the Hexen Circle. Yeah? I used to think that the Hexen Circle was a group of women who could control the very fate of this world. But now, I've seen for myself that besides Jay, many other ordinary people were also among you. I mean, I don't think Do you, you could... think less of us now? Say they were no, not ordinary. At all. My interest has been piqued, and I'm now even more drawn towards the idea of becoming a mage. I mean, you certainly have the quirkiness. Like, like, it's there. You're right. I've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. But you are different. You are much more fascinating than any of your predecessors. Huh. Weird. And anyway, <laughs> Alice doesn't like boring people, so <laughs> whatever. Oh, has someone finally piqued Aunt Alice's interest? Now is not a good time, Scarlet, but as soon as I am able, I will seek you out for a meeting. I want you to tell me all about Jay's married life back in her hometown. Oh. So Jay was the one who married and left. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, of course that makes sense because Scarlet as her um you know um one who took up her mantle would have been the one to discover the prophecy. So the mage who received the prophecy letter from all of you was Jay? Yeah. She left the Hexen Circle after getting married? You have to be not married? But... Alice, aren't you married? Precisely. There was only one way the letter could have been interpreted. She would have known what we meant as soon as she saw the message. We were just asking one thing of her. Please come to see us again. Before you go and settle forever with your happiness, please come share some of it with your best friends and sisters. So, the Supreme Blessing actually meant... Oh. All journeys are fleeting and will eventually come to an end. What will give us the most fulfillment and happiness in the end are those who will greet us at our journey's destination. True. Dear child, 
I believe you can also understand what I am talking about. Wow. We women will always have many troubles and encounter pains and frustrations that will keep us up at night. It's Women's Month. It's March. <laughs> but no matter how hard things may become, we will cross mountains and oceans to see our best friends again. Ah, fuck. Regardless of how many years have passed or how far the distance may be. Uh, I'm a little sad now. Damn. As long as we can be with our beloved friends, our hearts will be filled with joy. To us mages, that's what being supremely blessed is all about. Oh. Uh, I still don't get it, but I do know that all the mages are Mom's best friends. Aww. <laughs> if you ask how I see it, the Hexen Circle is just a group of ladies that I spent my youth with. Anyway, I'll introduce some of the other members to you all later. I still have a few things to attend to, so this will have to do for today. Okay. Bye, Mom. Todoko says bye, too. Aww. Goodbye, darling. And farewell to all of our other friends as well. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Oh, now that I think of it, isn't it getting close to that time of year? Excuse me? Does she mean Windbloom? Yes, it's Windbloom again, Alice. It's also a special anniversary date. I'm sure you still remember. Was it Jay's wedding? Yes, I do remember now. It was on oh. this day many, many years ago that Jay tied the knot. Oh, just in time for the Festival of Love and Freedom. Everyone, please enjoy this year's Windbloom Festival to the fullest. Aww. All his voice fades and the lantern grows dim. It is once again just a regular piece of decor. Decor. For a moment, everyone looks lost in thought, but soon chatter begins to fill the space again. Before long, everyone spreads their gliders to return to Mondstadt. Except for Timaeus, because Albedo carries him. Whoa! Ah, Albedo! I knew it. Why didn't you tell me we'd have to glide all the way back down? Oh, okay, that was it, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Amazing. Let's glide back to Monstead. I say, wasting time. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I'm just gonna... Oh god, I've been recording for too long again. Oh gosh, why?